What's up? Steve Fisher here, coming at you from Breckenridge, Colorado. And uh, here we are again, 20 tricks, another year. And I am going to teach you the backside nine today. So I hope you enjoy. Check it out. All right, this year, the back nine. Uh, a little bit more technical. Uh, actually a lot more technical than last year's back five that I taught you. So um, maybe you should watch that a little bit. Brush up on the back five before you try the back nine. Usually when I start the rotation of the back nine, I drop in with as much speed as possible. You're gonna go in and you're gonna wanna be winding up just a little bit more in the flat box. So you're gonna torque your shoulders back just a little bit as you're going through the transition. As you're going through the transition, you're, you're cocked back just a little bit, right? So that way you can get optimal snap off the lip of the half. When you're getting up to the top of the lip, you're gonna wanna make sure you pop down the wall and not out. So that way you don't land flat, because landing flat is horrible. You're gonna grab backside pretty much immediately after you leave the lip. So that way you can hold on the whole way through. The grab looks good, the rotation looks good, and you know, if you need to, you can yank it around for that last little bit of the spin. Once you get to seven, you can totally see the whole half pipe and everything because you're coming around from fakie to forward and you're gonna come in and you're just gonna just gently set it down. Just easy, mellow, just like a backside air almost after your, after your backside nine. Just as your tail taps down, you know you've got it, you can ride away clean. Now you have the backside nine in your bag of tricks and uh, I guess we'll just see you next year on next year's version of 20 Tricks. Stay out there, be safe, have fun.